Welcome to Toffee TV. It is the Everton News Daily. It's Monday, the 6th of November. Uh, the Everton managerial post, unsurprisingly, making the headlines uh, today. This is going to be the story, I guess, over the next few days. Uh, Don King has reported that Everton have held talks with Sam Allardyce. It's been picked up by everybody else, of course, Sky Sports as well. Um, said he's met Farhad Mashiri for talks about the job. He will be given the job until the summer. That's according to the report. Uh, yeah, don't know what to think about it. It's not my choice. Um, but Alan Myers has also uh, tweeted saying that Everton have, have spoke to Allardyce. Farhad Mashiri is also interested in a top European manager an experienced Premier League manager and also said that David Unsworth is still in the frame for the managerial post. So, I guess it makes sense to speak to the people who are in the running for it. Um, we've done a video on the candidates, so be sure to check that one out. Um, yeah, I mean, I know that Everton are interested in Marco Silva, Obviously, Sean Dice's name's been bouncing around as well. So, we're going to have to just watch this space because there's decisions to be made. It's a, it's a very, very important decision, this. It, it runs deeper than just Premier League survival, I suppose, at this stage. Um, because, obviously, we're trying to move to a, a new stadium and that new stadium has been built for a Premier League club so we have to stay in there it's also about the development of the football club and how how we want to move forward you know this season was meant to be us getting closer to the top six being in a fight for a, a Champions League place and it's not played out like that of course you know resulting in Ronald Koeman leaving the job so the next manager Farad Mashiri told Jim White that the next Everton manager would have to be in place to take us forward over the next three to five years. That doesn't sound like Sam Allardyce for me. Um, so we're just going to have to see how it goes. Maybe Allardyce is plan B and they're trying to get somebody else. Who knows, watch this space over the next few days. Uh, another story today, obviously, the Kevin Morales, Morgan Schneiderlin story broke last night. Um, Rumours that they were sent home from training for not putting the required amount of effort in. The report said Duncan Ferguson made the call. Um, the lads left the training ground and, and that was that. But Morgan Schneiderlin has hit back on Twitter, released a statement saying that that's totally untrue and he wasn't asked to leave the training ground. He remains committed to Everton uh, and he wants to do his best for the club. So who knows? The story's come from somewhere. Um, whether it was them not being involved in the 18 and people have just made it up you know put two and two together and got five we're not going to know are we but Snydland is adamant that that didn't happen uh, and he remains committed to Everton Kevin Morales had also made an Instagram post saying my personal situation is difficult but there's other things going on in the world that's worse words to that effect but that's Kevin Morales and he does love a bit of Instagram doesn't he uh, one player Everton have been linked with today is New York City winger J Jack Harrison. The Everton, Brighton and Leicester linked with a move for the 20-year-old left-sided winger. Uh, he's a good player. Seen a lot of him because I watch a lot of MLS. Uh, New York City, his team were eliminated from the playoffs last night. Harrison is a good player, good young player and was called up to the England under-21s for the last round of games. Um I don't know, he's English, he moved over to America a few years ago. Hey, he's a good player, can he do it at this level? We don't know, but he's got good pace, a good left foot about him. And it makes, it, it kind of makes sense with the things that Everton have been doing with the younger players and Steve Walsh's network, identifying people and, and bringing in and going with the under 23s and then that pathway into the first team. So it's really, I watch this space with Jack Harrison, but he is a good player from what I've seen of him. Uh, another bit of news today, James McCarthy has been ruled out of the Republic of Ireland's World Cup playoffs. The hamstring injury he sustained at Chelsea a couple of weeks ago in the Carabao Cup has, uh, has kept him out of this playoff. And it's just the latest in a line of disappointment injuries, you know, for James McCarthy. He's been, 
you know, another 12 months really of being not fit. Um, he's played very little football in the last year. And it's, uh, it's really, you know, it's sad for him because on his day, he is a good harrier in midfield. He works hard, gets around a pitch. And he showed that at Chelsea the other week in the Carabao Cup in his comeback game. <laughs> you know, excuse me, done really well. Had to go off after an hour, which was the agreed, the agreed time. But then obviously he's had the problem with his hamstring injury, and I think it's probably he's just had so many injuries now that he's probably got scar tissue or something on his hamstring, and it's it's always likely to go if there's too much strain put on him. And that's sad for a footballer because he he would make a difference, I think, in the Everton midfield at times this season. But he has been ruled out of the qualifier, obviously. Seamus Coleman still out injured as well. That's about it for the news today. We'll be back tomorrow with more managerial news probably. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to click the notification button. Give us a little subscribe to Patreon if you want more videos. Check out the final word, the managerial videos that we've done this week. We'll see you soon on Toffee TV.